What's good, everybody? Time for a DL short. I uh, just waiting to pick up my daughter like I normally do. And um, just you know, thinking about everything that's going on, um, everyone's preoccupied with this election. We're, what, five days away from the election. A lot going on. That's all I've been talking about on my podcast. I really want to know podcasts. Um, and I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on everything else that's going on. Um, I think Monday and Wednesday of this week, the Pepsi Cola company shut down two of its factory slant warehouses. One in, I think one in the Chicago area, one in the Cincinnati area, you know, hundreds of, you know, hundreds of people lost their jobs. I mean, just imagine you go into work one day, you go into work on Monday, you're going to work on a Wednesday, you get there and they're like, ah, that's it. We're shutting down. Um, Pepsi's gonna pay their salaries to the end of the year. They're gonna be able to keep their health care till the end of the year. I think December 28th is the date that they gave. After that, done. Like, whoa, that's crazy. Pepsi's not the only company that's making these type cuts. You know, these companies are tightening their belts. So this is going on. Um, you look at what's going on in Ukraine. Uh, there are reports that 10,000 North Korean troops are being sent into Russia uh, to I guess participate in this, you know, war against the Ukrainians. That's massive. Like hey, people like that right there, that's massive. Um, you know, we're not really talking about that over here because again, the election, you know, we're so close to the election and you had that Madison Square Gardens thing, um, you know, with uh, you know, Tony Hinchcliffe making his comments about Puerto Rico and how that can majorly affect the election. I'm talking about um you know, that today I'm, I'm going to be talking about the women, the conservative women who are concerned that the Trump campaign uh, is not, um, is not really concerned with the female vote. They're just too much on this, you know, bro talk or whatever. I'm going to be talking about that today, five o'clock Eastern time. Uh, that came from Megyn Kelly. Enough of the bro talk. That's what she was saying. Nikki Haley is out there. She's also concerned. It's like, hey, you know, this campaign really should be focused on those people who are maybe the fence sitters are kind of in the middle. Um, we'll talk about that later on. But over here in the U.S., we're looking at the election only. We're not looking at what's going on in the real estate market. Like down here in Florida, we're not looking at what's going on with the insurance business in America. Um, you know, you know, kind of look at where the, the stock market is up and down, up and down. There's a lot going on. So I just wanted to take a moment to kind of reflect on that. I'm like, bro, have a look at some stuff that the, the Pepsi Cola thing, the Pepsi Cola company shutting down warehouses, shutting down spots, um, like that. And, you know, their union, the Teamsters are involved. But it's nothing really the union can do if the corporation decides to start shutting stuff down. Um, and then, of course, you look at what's going on in the Middle East, Iran, uh, Israel, all that stuff. So, hey, just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's only getting crazier, right? So that's all I got for now. Hopefully you guys can stop by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be talking um, on I Really Want to Know podcast about what's going on with uh, MAGA and the female vote and how that could uh, affect the outcome of this election uh, in five days. So it's kind of crazy out here, guys. So, all right, I'm going to talk to you later. Peace.